have restarted the computer and here we have the results all the comments were installed successfully and we can see all the results here and we can close out of this window and check whether all the roles and features are installed correctly from the server manager can close out of this also and now that we are ready for the installation we can start the setup from the DVD I'll again run the setup.exe file so now we have the .NET Framework 3.5 SP1 installed and also the Windows PowerShell we can choose the exchange language option we can either install all languages from the language bundle which will download and install all the language packs for exchange server or we can install only the language available in the DVD I will select the second one and now we can click on install Microsoft Exchange this will take a couple of seconds to initialize so we will wait and see Microsoft Exchange 2010 setup initializing and here we have setup with the interaction about Microsoft Exchange 2010 and some features that it is giving us we can click on next Here we have the license agreement. I'll accept it. And the Microsoft error reporting. As we are using this for a demonstration, we are not going to participate in error reporting. This will, in real time, this will help you to uh, report your errors that was created by Microsoft Exchange directly to Microsoft through internet. can click next and here we need to choose the installation types we have two types of installation the typical and custom installation In the typical installation will install the least number of components which are needed for working of emails the hub transport client access and mailbox and it will also install the management tools for and the custom installation will allow us to choose which of the five roles are to be installed on this specific computer I have told you earlier that we can install the five roles of exchange on five different servers we can do that kind of uh, installation using the custom installation but the typical installation will install all the three minimum requirement of email server on the same server itself For our purpose, I will install it as a custom exchange server installation and click on next. And here we have the server role selection. This is where we can choose which role is to be installed on this computer. If you select each of the roles, you can also see the description of that role on the right side. You can see that if I select any of these roles, the edge transport role is getting gray out, grayed out this is because I told you that uh, the edge transport server can be only installed on a standalone machine on a computer which is not a part of our domain we will not be able to install it with any other roles installed and 
if I select the edge transport role also, all the other roles will be grayed out. The cost is the same. You cannot install any other roles on a computer which is running edge transport role. Obviously, because it will be a standalone server. So I will choose mailbox, client access, and hub transport role for our installation because we are not using unified messaging role and edge transport role. I will keep the installation path the same and click on next. You can see that the management tools will also get automatically installed with any of the roles. We can click next now. Here we can give the exchange organization name. This will be the identity of uh, our exchange organization in the active directory. So if any other exchange organization try to connect with our organization, we will have to specify this name of our organization. We can give a name that is meaningful. Uh, it is better if you can give something related to your domain itself. So I will give the name ex demo, same name of the domain. No problem with that. Now I click on next and I will get the client settings. This says that do you have any client computer running Outlook 2003 in your organization? Yes or no? This is asked because in Exchange 2003 we have we had a, a public folders which was used for document sharing and um, Outlook 2003 needs a public folder database to get installed uh, or get connected to the exchange it doesn't need public folder to get installed but it need um, exchange, uh, it, it needs public folder database to get connected to the exchange server if the exchange server do not have a public folder database outlook 2003 will not be able to connect to it so in from the 2007 exchange server the public folder installation was not necessary uh, during the exchange installation um, so if we go on with a typical installation there will be no public folder database after the setup in 2007 and 2010 exchange so that's why here it is asking whether we have outlook 2003 in our environment so if we click yes a public folder database will be installed and if we click no no public folder database will be in, uh, created and outlook 2003 will not be able to connect to our exchange server so choose according to that we do not have any uh, 2003 outlook in our environment so i'll select no and click on next Here we can give the external domain for our client access server. This will be the URL through which our uh, clients will be accessing from the remote location or from the internet using Outlook web application or Exchange Active Sync from mobiles or uh, MS Outlook using RPC or HTTP. Now it's called Outlook anyway. So if you have a registered domain name outside and you have all the DNS settings enabled you can give that external domain here and clients will be able to access using this URL I'll click on next and here we have the customer experience improvement program from Microsoft I'm not going to do it now. So 
so the readiness checks are going on now uh, the exchange setup will check whether any prerequisites are missing and will let us know if it needs any changes this will take a couple of minutes and uh, I will pause the video now and will be right back after this completes so we have the results now we only have the Microsoft filter pack warning now we have the installation button and we are not going to install the Microsoft filter pack because it is not needed for now so we can go on and install the ins exchange so the progress bar is showing some activity now uh, it's doing the organization preparation we have about 10 steps here to complete more than 10 steps here to complete the installation so I will be pausing the video and will be right back after this completes our exchange server 2010 setup has completed now I can finalize the installation using exchange management console I'm going to click on finish and it will open up the management console automatically because this one is selected this is the exchange management console from where we do most of the things so we have just completed the installation of a microsoft exchange 2010 and i will see you in the next part and thank you for watching